I'm going to name historical figures. Name a superpower you think they would have. First superpower off the top of your mind. Okay. So Harriet Tubman. <laughs> 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 I say super speed <laughs> or teleportation. Oh God, bro, that woman had a superpower, bro. Harriet Tubman, she saved nine hundred slaves, nine hundred to a thousand slaves. She saved a whole without high school no one, bro. Without knowing, without technology, imagine a slave owner. He probably like, where the hell they go? Yeah. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga seen the desertedness. He's like, yo, where the hell? He's like, yo, he's like, where the hell them niggas go? <laughs> yo, 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 welcome back to another episode of No Regis Podcast, episode number 141. Woo, somebody finally got it right. Episode 141. I'm your host, DWK Darius. We got Fritz back in the building. You haven't seen him in a while. If y'all new to the channel, subscribe, comment down below, post notifications, like the video, all that good stuff. But we getting right into the video, people. No no breaks, no pumps, whatever that junk called. Fritz, how you been, bro? Man, bro, I've been fantastic. I've been I've been doing pretty good, man. You know, just working and just Get into this money, man. That's that's it. Yeah, Fritz is a scammer. If y'all don't know about that, bro. Scammer is crazy. I'm not a scammer. Fritz, I, Fritz bought I, a new I, I car. Make, I make legal money, bro. That's what all scammers say. <laughs> <laughs> like, I make legal money. I promise you. Fritz bought a new car with cash. That, that's all you gotta know, bro. Straight cash, bro. But what you been doing? You just Yo, been working, I, bro. I just been. Yeah, I just been working and just uh, yeah, just been working really. That's and not just bad. Been, been going, you know, with my girl. Just that's it. I've been chilling. All right, that's good, bro. That's good, bro. Yo, I freaking went to it's Atlanta. Been a minute since I've been here. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I know. And and I and I kind of missed it. Oh, you missed me on the pod, bro. Kind of missed it. You got Just stuff to talk bit. about, I'm like, people. Damn. Well, there's there, <laughs> there's shit that's been going on. <laughs> like what? That I need to address. Like what you gotta address? I gotta address. Go ahead. What was you about to say though? <laughs> <laughs> what was he about to say first? No, I was because you didn't ask me how I was doing. I could have oh, yeah, been depressed. But I know how you was doing. What if I was depressed? My boy, yo, say congrats to my boy Darius, yo. He finished his <laughs> master's program. Yes, Yay. sir. You know, finally, gra- boy. I did a whole bit in college, bro. A whole bit? Seven years, bro. Yeah. Sucks. That, <laughs> Just that, sucks. Hey, that's, hey. Think that, about that, it. That's how it is, bro. Hey, man. It was I'm all boy. worth it, though. It was all worth it. So, it was all for free. Shout out to them robots, bro. Shout out to the my robots. Boy, my boy don't got to pay nothing after. Don't got to pay nothing. Really? All AI certified. All that stuff. I, this is going to be crazy. I got to look for a job, all that stuff. But My boy, my boy better get to this money. Don't worry. First, about to graduate soon, still. Yeah, I'm about, you feel me? I'm I'm dead, too, bro. Start chat GBT, bro. Just, just use it up, bro. What? Just use that chat GBT. Of course. You be using it? Hell yeah. You know Tyrone pays for his? Like, he pays $20 a month. Yo, that nigga's a tryhard. <laughs> no, no, but it's OD. Like, it, you can no, put... No, I know, like, the, the upgrade yes. or whatever. It's like, yeah. <laughs> that is not fair. Yeah, that is OD. It <laughs> like, is he OD. said he could put an article in there, and it will, it will like, so, it will uh, create, like, a whole, like, report on it. Really? Yeah. And it will paraphrase itself, just in case, so, like... Oh, see, I have to go to another yeah, nah. thing to paraphrase. That junk paraphrases itself. Ooh, I'm 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 getting there. Hey, bro, if you need it, yo, people, if y'all need just AI, it's out in the world, bro. You can make, you know, you, you can make videos now. That's that's crazy, though. I really hope no one sees this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the dean is about to see cuz, bro. Yeah, <laughs> see cuz of the like, podcast. Chill, chill. Like I don't use that. Shit. Hey, bro, but I was gonna say I went to yo, I went to Atlantic City over the weekend, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I've been getting compliments, but it's been very weird. Me and Jay went to. A wig store and the Asian and there was a Chinese, you know the Chinese man, bro. Right. He was like, he was like, is this your brother? <laughs> and he was like, no, nah, it's my boyfriend. He said, oh, your boyfriend, he he handsome. I'm like, he tried to hit on me or something. I'm like, what okay, that was one. Okay, I, I let that one. I was like, okay, I don't care. And then you we know went the old one, old lady. No, nah, it was a, it was a man. Oh, <laughs> it was a guy. <laughs> I'm like, he gay. <laughs> I mean, shit. If he, if you handsome, you can't get a handsome compliment. That's cool, from a but nigga. Like, I mean, How, would why you, you gotta be gay? I mean, would you want that? No, but but <laughs> like, if it comes my way, I mean, I was I'm flat, not gonna be, I was I'm happy. not gonna be like, what? 
I know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna question. <laughs> I'm not it. gonna be like. I'm I was not like, gonna thank be, you. I'm not gonna be like. Whoa, 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 whoa. You feel me? I'm just gonna be like. Well, I'm not gonna say nothing. Like, you know how handsome know. you gotta be for a man to call you handsome. Right. Exactly. So, so take it as a compliment. I did. I was excited. That's he did. Why you gotta be gay about it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what was you gonna say? So then we went to Atlantic City. And right. You know, we were walking around like the shops and stuff, and me and Jay was walking, and this homeless guy came up to me. He put his hand on my shoulder. Ooh. And he said, "You look like Usher." Anybody ever tell you look like Usher? That's some bullshit. I was like, "Wow!" <laughs> that, that's I was like, "Wow!" Bullshit. Nobody. But, no. first, <laughs> but first of all, I had to go. I had to put a dip like this because I'm like, "Don't touch me." Yeah, right. And then he was like, "You look like a black Asian Usher." I'm like, no. "You are right." I'm not gonna lie. No, don't. <laughs> You're right. No, don't. <laughs> Thank now, you. Now that's where you don't let him go to your head. Come on, bro. No, you Usher. Don't. Yes, yes, exactly. You That's, don't. I can see a little bit. No. With hair. No. If Usher had curly top, no. not bad. No. See. <laughs> <laughs> There's no. Don't let that. Don't let that nigga go to your head. He just <laughs> but. <laughs> he just wants some bread. He just wants some bread. Yo, you know it's also cr- nah, bro. Why Yo, you gotta do that, I'm bro? I'm dying, bro. You don't think I look <laughs> like Usher, guys? Nigga, what the heck you about to get some bread? <laughs> he didn't get none. You <laughs> don't look like Usher. If you would have said, like, Trey Songz, I'll give him $5, I promise you. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Trace, Usher, a better compliment than Trey Songz. What? Yes. No, you're actually great. Usher over Trey Songz? Are you kidding? No, nah, no. Nah. gay, bro. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Because why you, why you fight for this thing so hard? Yo, <laughs> you see how he fought for that nigga Trey Songs? Oh my god! Yo, cause Trey Songs. No, I that, take Usher the, over Trey Songs. Nah, like tr- uh, Usher compliment over Trey Songs. Word prime Trey Songs, bro. What is Prime Trey Songs? You talking with about the, the one braids? with the braids? Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm taking Prime, prime Usher over Prime Trey nah, Songs. Nah, bro. What? <laughs> I'm not Usher. And he's a better singer, bro. A better performer. Okay, you can take get that. that definitely. Okay, but like looks wise, nah. I think Usher look like Usher look like a, a ferret, bro. Are you serious? Like Usher, like don't get me wrong, Usher a little cute, but like not Trey Songz though. Nah, you crazy. Really? You crazy, bro. Nah, bro. To me, I feel like nah, bro. Usher not top three. Top three him, handsome niggas in the R and B. Yeah. Who top- Who's your top three, bro? <laughs> Ooh, this is this, this nigga crazy. Moved, look, bro. <laughs> look, watch this, watch this. Cause look at this <laughs> nigga <laughs> having a top three, <laughs> and he knew. Oh, that's no, no, crazy. this is on the top of my head. This is on the top of my head. All right, I was gonna say Chris Brown. Chris Brown overrated. I ain't gonna lie. You crazy, bro? Chris Brown is top three, bro. Chris Brown. Chris Brown had that white person haircut with the comb over. That okay, wild. but that don't matter. What are we talking you're, about? Look, we talking at, about skin fade. Looking at the fa- look, you're going through <laughs> phases on Chris Brown. Obviously, you talking niggas, about over- some niggas had some weird phases. Trey Song's hair don't even look right right now on him, bro. Like with the, the, with the with the with the like the, fo- um, the mohawk the, thing. Yeah, Wait. that it don't, nah. it don't. It ain't. It ain't. You feel me? I'm going Trey Song's. Crazy, bro. Trey Song's. Um. Who else? Freaking, uh, I'm missing one. I'm missing one. High key. I'm, this is very, this is very like, like now. Central C. Pause. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I said R and B. Oh, we can't do hip hop too. You gay? <laughs> Wait, R B. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. First of all, Central, pa- C, Central C type handsome, but pause. Central C is a pretty handsome guy. He's a handsome dude, but he ain't. Top three, bro. All right, let's see. Let me let me get let me get out of here. This is act like I didn't say that. We gonna go Trey songs, low key. Wait, give me some R and B singers. Shit, we got Chris Brown. We got Drake. No, you could put Drake in maybe R and B type shit. Hold on, now I gotta look up R and B singers. Now I gotta look up R and B. Got Usher. You got. That's what Shit. I'm saying. Like where, <laughs> like where is you that? You got genuine. Ooh, genuine was. You feel me? Hold on, hold on. Pause, bro. But he was a handsome nigga. Yeah, <laughs> ooh is crazy. <laughs> Don't say <like>, ooh. <laughs> that is crazy. Wait, Darius, what's going on? I gotta give you the fingers over here, <laughs> like, cause 
This nigga, this is not. <laughs> this is not adding up. <laughs> Yo, that's when you tweaking. <laughs> tweaking right now. Yo, but the nah, honestly, I was thinking about music wise. <laughs> music wise? Yeah, music I was wise? I wasn't thinking about his looks honestly. I was like, ooh, hold on, I gotta look at <laughs> I gotta look at males, males. Uh R. Kelly high key ugly. Nah, R. Kelly not bad. John Legend? John Legend is cool. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, Trey Songs is up there, bro. You're bugging. You're actually bugging. Hold on. I'm looking at these people. Yo, these guys, uh, Miguel, nah, Miguel. Yo, I ain't go live, bro. Bryson Tiller. Bryson Tiller. Yeah, Bryson Tiller's up there. Bryson Tiller. That's not that bad. I'll get it. I'll get it. Bryson, Bryson Tiller. Tiller. Nah, Neo, hideous. Yo, I ain't go live. Like, <laughs> R&B singers, like, they were ugly. <laughs> they were ugly, dude. But they could sing. Bro. So they made him look. It made him look better. Look better type of shit. Because, like, like, freaking. I, I ain't go live, like. Part next door type hit. Dream is Dream hit. Dream yeah, look but great. Like, but like short. that nigga, that nigga could sing type. I know that's like, what I'm saying. You feel me? Like Brent Fiaz look kind of. I mean, maybe. Nah, Chris Brown. Nah, Chris Brown. He be having. He be looking too crazy for me, bro. Nah, bro. I don't think so. Wait, wait, so you have Chris Brown top three? Yeah. Nah, bro. I have Chris Brown top three, bro. Really? So yeah. somebody walked up to you and said, "Damn, you look like Chris Brown." You be oh hyped? yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm taking that. <sighs> Hell yeah, I'm taking that. Yo, I wouldn't mind it. Somebody said I look like John Legend, bro. I took that shit too. <laughs> you don't even have a beard. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. I can see a little bit. A John Legend, bro. I see. The thing is, though, I'm a mixture of shit, bro. Yeah. A little Romeo. <laughs> little I'm a mixture. Is I'm crazy. a. Mi- <laughs> look up little Romeo Yo, and look, look at me, bro. Look, little little Rome- Romeo. No. <laughs> I'm a mixture of Lil Romeo, <laughs> little bit of Michael B. Jordan, a little All bit, right, a little bit of, a little bit of, who else? Lil Romeo, not bad. I I can see a little, little bit of Lil Romeo, bro. And a little bit of John Legend. My teacher in sixth grade said, no, not sixth grade, um, sophomore year. She said I look like John Legend. I took it because I could see that. Who 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 said that? Do you remember Miss? Oh, I forgot what it was. A young mad teacher, but I forgot what her name was though. Black she had glasses. Oh, she was young. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shelby. Nah, not Miss Shelby. It was like Miss Ed. El- El- oh, damn, bro. And she said you like she John Legend. Black. She at a young age. Mm-hmm. Damn, you was hype. Everybody, Hell yeah, because she looked. You know, my uncles be saying like, "I'll be sure." I don't know what that is. I'll be sure. Yeah, I think that's like a. Like is a, that is that um that um is it? I'll be sure. Um, that that um niggas Quincy's father. Is it? It might be actually. Oh, that is wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's Quincy. <laughs> it's Quincy. <laughs> he said I look like this. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Oh, wow. He had a yo low key. What All right, bro. All right, bro. I nah, think I look that, like I'll be sure, yeah, bro. Yo, if you had, come on, bro. If you had a unibrow, bro, <laughs> nah, you'd nah. look like I'll be <laughs> no, sure, bro. I don't. That's crazy. I don't even have this hairstyle. This it doesn't matter Jay, about me? the hairstyle. Low key. Yo. Thank you. Let me see, bro. This ain't me. Come on, son. this ain't me, bro. Just a tad. If he that nigga had a unibrow, like come on, son. This re- all that is freaking. What's his name? P Diddy. That's P Diddy. Speaking of P. Diddy, that's what I wanted to talk about. What? What you mean, what? What else about him? What else about him? What's he Have do? you been under a rock? I know what he been doing, but like, is it like, it's been worse? Oh, yeah. Oh, he tweeted. Did you see I, that video? I ain't gonna lie. I didn't know that was him. I skipped it. <laughs> I skipped, skipped right it? over it. That <laughs> I, was him. I just thought it was our world star. Like, dang, another man beat his wife. No, that was P. Diddy in 2016. Dang, that was uh, Cassie? Yep. That's Be- crazy. You're not, on Cassie. You know how you know how angry you gotta be to chase a woman out in a towel and then drag it wow. back. Wow, you yeah, bro. For, supposedly the nigga was sleeping. She trying to, she trying to. You feel me? Well, look she trying to, she trying to leave while you know she sleep. He's sleeping. Mm. The nigga ran after, her, dragged her, and kicked her, mm. threw vases at her. Now, mm. <clears throat> that's crazy. That is wild. And the fact that... <coughs> see, I got two things to say, bro. Go ahead. Bro, let me get my water for this oh, one. Fritz about to preach to all I y'all. I got two things to say, bro. I 
I'm surprised you ain't know about this. You just, you just, that's crazy. I seen that video. I just didn't know it was him for real until like maybe a couple of days ago. Yeah. So I got two things to say. First, I'm gonna go talk about Diddy. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. That nigga had the nerve. Oh yeah. To 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 go on his Instagram right. And talk about, because, you know, when Cassie initially, you know, filed her claims. Mm-hmm. On, first of all, when when that nigga paid two seconds after you that known. settled, you knew something was going on. Oh, yeah. I knew I knew he was on some shit. Mm-hmm. He, bro, he paid that junk in 30 seconds. 30, 30 seconds, bro. <laughs> he was like, yeah, here, go ahead. He said, he said here, go ahead, bro. <laughs> Here's 30 million right there. 30 million right on the spot. Nigga, it's like he had that shit prepared. Oh, yeah. He probably, he probably knew, bro. He probably knew. Yep. And yep. and you know what's crazy, bro? What happened? Yeah, people were like, nah, she stayed. This and the third. It's her fault? It's her fault or something she stayed. That girl probably feared for his life. This is a nigga that's consp- supposedly in conspiracies, like involved in conspiracies of killing people. Yeah, I know. Blowing somebody up, blowing somebody car up. Who car you blew up? I don't know. Oh, some some nigga, I guess, um, that had, um, or... Was just like thought Cassie was attractive or some shit like that. I, he blew, I, he supposedly blew, blew that nigga car up. <laughs> oh my gosh! Supposedly had involvement with killing Biggie. Tupac. Yeah, yeah. You know he's a powerful nigga. Yeah, yeah. He could he could send some hit, hits out. You feel oh, me, bro? A, a freaking hitman only ten k. And he knows people. Oh, who yeah. knows people? Who knows people? Mm-hmm. He could get be, out of there easily. I'd be scared too. Right. Mm-hmm. So his fault. So when when. You know, in December 6, 2023, yeah. the nigga said, he posted on his Instagram. You guys can go see it. Enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation, and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Now, you're saying motherfuckers is looking, in December, yeah. motherfuckers is looking for a quick payday, mm-hmm. and then now you want to talk about oh, in 2016. You didn't, you didn't see the video of him apologizing. Yeah, I seen that. What oh. did he apologize when they said like they dropped the charges or something like that, or something what happened? The fuck? No, they apologized. He apologized when niggas seen that video. Oh, I thought they I thought they said something about like they couldn't prove something or he apologized or it was something know. weird. I don't know. I don't know. But after niggas seen that video, you want to talk about? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was fucked up. <laughs> I was in the dark space, dark times. This, that, this. How? Who told him to t- send that apology video, bro? That's not a good thing. You can't say. Now it would be one thing if you sent that apology. If you sent that apology video in the beginning. In the begin, not not even in the beginning. Or when you when that them claims started coming, right? Yeah, yeah. If he took accountability mm-hmm. and been like, yeah, I've done some shit in my life, mm-hmm. this and third, and I'm not proud of, yeah. And that video came, you know, you know, surfaced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that apology video would make sense because he's apologizing for the shit that just surfaced. But you know how he is. He don't care. He doesn't care. He really don't care. He doesn't care. He got care. He cared. Now he got caught. That's it. Exactly. He cares that he got caught. And that shit is crazy. It's like the older niggas get. The older niggas gotta tell them to put keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> I don't fucking understand what's good with these old ass niggas beating on women. I don't know. These niggas is wilding. Nah, now protecting do. yourself. It's different. It's a whole different thing. But that girl was trying to run away from you. I know. And you sat there and 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 and, and sucker punched her while while she she couldn't even see that shit. She was <laughs> like she was dead couldn't see it. Like I'm laughing, but like, that shit's crazy. <laughs> and you kicked it like a... With the towel on. Butt ass nigga. That's crazy. Butt ass nigga. Nigga, nigga and made sure to hold that towel on. That nigga... He got some strength to him. No, to that. that nigga That's was definitely... Handed. That nigga was definitely... He was he was used to that shit because he kept that towel on still. <laughs> like, he, he just... He just knew what... He just knew what to do. He knew what to do. He was a professional, bro. And throwing vases at, at the girl. That's crazy. What's wrong nah, with vases you? crazy. Like what's wrong with you? You know, you remember that um that 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 football player that that <laughs> Ray that, Rice? What the fuck? No, not Ray Rice. That football player that um 
that really beat his girl. Like with that TV, we talked about it. Oh years yeah, ago, bro. Boy, boy, now <laughs> you see that shit crazy. You see, we was we was laughing at it, and making we was like, laughing at it. Yeah, we, obviously domestic violence is not just, funny. It's not it's a not funny, funny at thing. All. But we was making like jokes in between and this and third. But domestic violence is crazy. Like, why are you? Why are you? Why are you get that that mad? Like, what, could, possi- what could you possibly? That, what no? What could that girl really possibly like? Come on, bro. Cass- Cassie look like she's like a a nice person, a really good person. Bro. Yeah. Like, what did she possibly she, do? How could she possibly get you that mad, bro? To go outside in your towel. Even that one girl with the, the like, how? Why you throw the TV on? You know her? what's crazy too? That nigga, I'll be sure said if that nigga um is in a coma, um, Diddy probably did it, bro. Who? I'll be sure. Mm-hmm. Oh shoot. Let alone, he's in the hospital, I think. Is he really? Yep. Hey, bro. Freaking. Yeah, I want to know what happened to Kim Porter, his first wife, bro. Oh, no. I he, wonder what I, I wonder what she went through, bro. I heard they got her out of there, bro. I wonder what she went I through. Heard that, they got shit, that shit is crazy, bro. That nigga talk about, no, I was in dark space in my life, this and the third, 2016. Oh, the second one I wanted to talk about, right? What? The second person I want to talk. Why did they leave... Why was that? Since 2016, bro, them Which, niggas kept that footage. For what? From the Cassie thing? Yes, 2016. That, yeah, and it's coming cr- out now, bro. Was that almost what? Ten, almost ten, eight years, eight years later. Okay, his lawyers probably had a hold of that. His lawyers probably had a hold of that or whatever. I heard, I heard, they paid him 50k or some shit. They paid somebody 50k, 50k only. I know, I was about to say, give me more now, I'll leave my it right nigga, now. Have, it's 50 mil. <laughs> you pay me 50 mil and I'm still leaking that motherfucker. <laughs> like, real shit. Like, like I'm, 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 like, give me, yo, if I was a security person just watching that shit, nigga, come up to me talking about 50K? Nigga, I was, Nah, he might have, he might say 50K, he got a gun in his hand. He might say 50, yeah, real shit. Yeah, he so. might have, <laughs> no, and then he, I was gonna say, he might say 50K. Or you die. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> like, I'll, I'll take the 50. I'll take the 50. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, like, I see like, that. Real shit. Like, real shit. Like, that's probably happened, bro. But, like, but like you could have, I don't know, whoever had the, uh, but who leaked it, though? Like, whoever. you know, they, you know, I feel like, you know, I feel, all right, with Diddy, I think he's playing chess. So, I feel, like, they wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if he did this on purpose as a way to, like, help him in the future. I don't know how it will. But I don't know who else would have leaked it unless it would be, like, Cassie's people. Mm. That's the only people I'm thinking. I think, I mean, they supposedly said that they was it was going to be, like, they're going to do to Diddy, like, what they did to R. Kelly. What, put him in, I mean, duh. Like, That's worse than R, what R. Kelly been doing. Is it? Yeah. Well, 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 I mean. I heard Diddy got, has another lawsuit coming at him. Like, another girl said that he essayed her and stuff. For real? Yeah. So I think Diddy's way worse. Bruh, Wasn't what? R. Kelly doing kids, though? Man, who knows? Pete P- Diddy's probably doing the same thing, bro. He, no, nah, he probably is. They said Drake was doing the yeah. same thing. And I've been telling y'all for the longest. <laughs> yeah, I've been mean, saying it for the longest. Nigga, and when Kendrick say, oh, that's true, I've been saying it forever. Okay, but niggas could say, niggas could say that, bro. If it's Drake, bro, that would break my heart. There was brother. a picture of Drake. Drake I... And what's her face? What's that girl's name? What's a, one of the Kardashians' name? The one that had a kid with uh, Travis Kelsey? Not Travis, uh, Travis Scott. What's her name? Oh, K- Kylie? Yeah. Was that is that Kylie Jenner? Yeah, that's Kylie Jenner. So, it was a picture of them both in 2013, and Drake was hugging up on a kiss on her. She was 16 at the time, in 2013. I want to know, <laughs> <laughs> what is up with these celebrities? With little kids. <laughs> what is the obsession? <laughs> no, seriously, I want to know that. Like, why whenever motherfuckers get some fame, they come out as... <laughs> I don't understand. Like, what is up with niggas? Yo, it's because, bro, you know this has been it's a thing in, like, you, since the olden you, days, you right? Know, you know, no, I know. But you know that Diddy, when we was talking about Usher, bro, Diddy... When Usher was 14. Oh, yeah. I heard about that. Diddy's Flavor Camp? What the heck is that? Wait. <laughs> flavor <Yeah>. Camp? <laughs> Diddy's Flavor Camp. Or some some shit. Is it? Usher went to Diddy's house. Usher, at 14, 
Where was Usher's parents? <laughs> that, that, that's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. Where Yo, was the parents? Where was the parents? Basically. Where did Diddy, dad at? Yeah. Like, basically, Diddy and uh, Usher at 14 years old stayed at Diddy's crib. And he said, you know, he's seen some things. And he would even put, you know, if his kids went to Diddy, like, he couldn't. He, no. He wouldn't Flavor take his. Flavor camp. To, yeah, what Diddy's, that even mean? Like, you know what it means. Oh, he did. I know what it means. <laughs> Cause what the fuck is 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 that? I don't know, bro. I have no clue. I think it's this this people got fetish for like grooming and stuff. That's freaking weird. Niggas is sick out here, bro. Baby. Y'all niggas got no morals. I mm. know, right? They got all this and money. They can get any girl y'all hell. want. Y'all can look at any girl I y'all want. Y'all like got they, all this money. Like, are they like they're tired of older women? What the fuck is going on? What's up with these niggas with kids? <laughs> I don't fucking understand it, bro. Yeah. What's up with these niggas with grooming kids? I don't know, man. Y'all niggas need to lead the kids. Now, if Drake, Drake, if you come out, if shit come out with you with being a fucking, bro, I'll be so pissed. You going back to Canada, buddy. <laughs> I'll be so pissed. Because I'm not Drake. Su- I've been growing up with this nigga. I'm not surprised, bro. I'm telling you, I wasn't surprised. But they, since they, ever since they got R. Kelly, nah, it's only a matter of time when they got Drake, bro. It just, it just don't make sense. You be, yo, there's, there's these girls out here that look like they, they 16, they look like they 25. You don't think Drake might have slid in the DMs by accident? He's like, you know what? They don't gotta know. Or the girl probably lied, like what they did to Josh Giddy. Yeah. Free Josh okay. Giddy. Okay. Yeah. Now. You gotta, you gotta understand. When a girl lies, it's one thing. Yeah. When you intentionally know that a person is underage and you're still going through with it, you need to be under the under the jail, my friend. <laughs> under you the- need to be in jail, under the jail, wherever, yeah, someplace in the vicinity of a jail, my nigga. Yeah, sorry. in prison. Like it, like come on, bro. It's 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 one thing somebody lying to you. And some shit like that. But it's intentionally knowing. That's like, you're no better work. than than any other fucking pedophile here, bro. Like, to, what's wrong with you? To my young fellas, bro. This is what y'all got to start asking girls, bro. You got to make sure you know their age. You got to look. You got to ask the gender. You always got to make sure. I got this. Is what you got to teach your kids, Man, bro. 2024, bro. We got to make sure, gotta, bro. You got to know the gender, too, bro. There's a lot. Of, there's, there's a lot they be niggas, out there. Uh, there's no problem tricky. with them. We let, we let them roam, bro. Let them roam free. <laughs> but at the end of the day, if you want that, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? That's not that's not me. That's none of us out here. Right. But you guys got to be wary. That's why I got to teach my son. You got to look at the hands, bro. You got to look, look at the hand. Look at the hand. What about the neck? What about the eye? They, they, they can take it out? They can take it out? I don't know if they, they can take it out, but, like, but some people, they don't, they just don't show as much. Mm. Like, like yours don't, like me and yours don't show as much as like other people. Mm. So like you got to look at the, like a girl's hands and a guy's hands, they look completely different. Like guy's hands got like more veiny and like a little muscular and stuff. Mm. You got to look at the feet. They feet big? Nah. Nope. Got to get, get up out of there. But the mainly the hands, bro. Just give them a handshake. Dang, this is a little rough. You mm. know? Guy, shit. Get them out of age, gender. Um, what else? What you gotta ask a girl? I mean, that's not like a question. Now you really can't ask them. You just gotta figure it out on your own. Or, right. but you should know the age though. Dang, bro. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna suck in twenty like forty. Nah, it's over. Niggas <laughs> not gonna know shit. We we just made it just in time, bro. Niggas <laughs> not gonna know shit, bro. We just made it just in time, bro. That's crazy work. Hey, man. I actually, <laughs> I actually got a question, bro. Mm. <laughs> I've been wanting to ask this question for a long time on this podcast, but I so I gotta I gotta ask you something, bro. You do you do you like my personality? What the fuck? Like me as a person? Do you like? What my- question is this? <laughs> I'm a little uncomfortable. <laughs> like if I like my personality, like like I like your personality. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> what are we doing here? Do you like my personality? You cool, bro. I'm cool? You cool. So if I was a girl. Nah, we're not going with this. So if I was a girl, Fritz. Ferris, get the fuck Fritz. away from me with this question, bro. Fritz. What are you talking Fritz. about, bro? All right. If, there was a, if I was a girl, would I be your type? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what the fuck type of question is this? I'm a... 
Darius. <laughs> nah, there's no way, bro. I don't, asking a question, this is bro. the worst person that should be in the pod that you should ask about this. Bro, I said a girl. I'm th- I'm just my personality. Me, if my if, as a personality with me. You saying if you were a girl though. Okay. My person my a personality girl to a girl. Was like you. Okay, girls like me. How about that? Would I like what is your personality though? <laughs> 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 like it's like I don't know. Like what is Darius's personality? I'll say that you're, you're a good boyfriend. Yeah, I'll say that you're a good boyfriend. So imagine if there was a girl that was like me. Yeah, yeah that. Damn, I don't, hold on, relax. <laughs> I gotta. This is Mook. I don't like Man, this. Hey, this is all pause though. This is all pause. Like I don't think you'd right, be so, my type, bro. Huh? Like your personality? I don't think your personality be my type. Wait, why not? <laughs> <laughs> I just don't, like why not? Like I just feel like like. Let me know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this. <laughs> I don't know why I got. It. <laughs> why would you like my personality? Man? No, I do. Okay, like, I but you cool. just said you like my personality, and then you said you would. I wouldn't. Be. Wait, like pause, I don't think. Bro. Like I don't think. Like if you why was not? a girl, I don't know. You're just not my type, bro. Why not? It just. You don't give off that that aura about you, bro. What is the aura? Like, what aura are you looking for? Like, like think about it. Like, I feel like you, like, I feel like you crash. You would crash out at any moment, possibly. Mm. Mm. But that might be good though. But I still, I don't, I don't know, bro. This nigga is moved. <laughs> I'm <laughs> telling niggas, this nigga, that might be good. What are you talking about? <laughs> Listen, all right. You really sat there and put this. No, because you know why I got this. I got this. Yo, you got it on the video. No, no, no. I I remember this was during quarantine, and you know there was a there was a trend on TikTok, and it was like, like and Jay, uh, there was like a filter on TikTok that would put like like make a picture look like it was another gender. Yeah. I so see Jay that. asked me, like, with you guys, like, which like who would you go out with, like based on their looks if they was girls, mm. and like that just made me think about like this conversation right now. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Okay, so So that's why I said like I don't what think I'd you're say, my type of person. The bro. thing is though, the thing is though, me in a relationship think is about me different from <laughs> from hanging out with you guys. Ah, okay. I'm not a crash out in a relationship. Okay, okay. Because it is it's, it's but a I female. Fi- I can't treat a female like how I treat you guys. But I feel or how I can treat you guys. But like I feel like hold on. Now now I'll say this. Nah, actually, you might have money, though. <laughs> yo, relax, bro. <laughs> like, yo. I'll say this. I would like a girl with that, not with your Think about it, bro. personality, I'm, but I'm you're, loving, you're I'm good, thoughtful. You're, you're good. I ain't ran through. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, got, I got it all good. You yeah, for a girl yeah, you that'd be cool. I feel like out of anybody in the group, it's it's me, bro. It probably might be you. Cause like you gotta think about it. Think about you, Jay. Nah. Nah. You, <laughs> you Jay as a girl. I I feel like you Jay as a girl is like those. Oh, it's like those overly confident ones. Mm-hmm. But they don't. It's like, they're like, too confident. That mm-hmm. scares you. Mm-hmm. Like, they're the ones that go up to be like, you my boyfriend now. Mm. And, like, they be pressing you. Mm. Nah. Well, you can't do nothing, really, to, like, impress them or, like, do nothing to, like, nah, like yeah. tell them that. Like, I don't know. You can't just. It's like, if they want you, they going to, like, they going to press the issue. Mm-hmm. Like, all the time, it's going to be annoying. Mm-hmm. Nah. Like, low key. Like, Jason. Jason, I feel like. She. she <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you shake your head like that? Jason, that, that woman gonna scare me. I think Jason that, would be like the woman that has like daddy issues. Yeah. Very, got anxiety. Yeah. It's very. I, I cannot deal with that. Like, whatever happens, they, she, gonna, she gonna be stressed out. Like, oh my gosh, I'm about to. Overthinking. Overthinking everything. That would probably be annoying. Well, <laughs> that sounds crazy, but like that, yeah. That would definitely be. A handful. What about Jordan? No. No? 
I think Jordan would just be too tall for me, though. I mean, this is a personality. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Actually, Jordan future. might not be that bad. It wouldn't, get, it wouldn't be that it bad. It wouldn't be that but bad. I really don't know. Oh, see. What? <laughs> Never mind. What you about to say? No, what nah, you, I, I can't what say What you about to no, say? I can't no. say it. I can't say it. No, bro. I gotta cannot say, say it. Why, bro? Because. Because what? It's on video. Bro, just say pause, bro. No, it's not even a pause thing. What is it? No. Nah. I'll tell you after. <laughs> this guy's crazy. I'll tell you after. But it's me, though. It gotta be me. It's probably your personality. <sighs> and a girl. I just need I just need that to boost the ego, bro. That's all. That's really? All. That's like <laughs> that's <with> ego? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Check this nigga, bro. This nigga Darius is on, is on some crazy shit today. First, nigga, nigga, <laughs> nigga was tweaking for Trey Songs. I was not even tweaking. Say you wasn't tweaking. I was just like you wasn't. You was like you was like nah. The what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Trey songs? Oh, Trey songs? Like you was like fighting for that nigga, bro. I didn't mean it for it to come out like that, but it's just like well, that's your inner. You just gotta. That's, it. <laughs> that's, that's you, bro. So you gotta. It's gotta. Hey, bro, you just gotta give respect to Trey songs, bro. I give respect to Trey songs. Come on, bro. But hey, man, that's on. crazy work. I feel like if I was a woman, bro, I'd date myself. If I was a woman, would I date myself, bro? I don't even know. I think I would. <laughs> you think you would? Yeah. I don't. I don't know, bro. Oh, hey, man. You know what's crazy, bro? Like with it, with that R and B shit too. Like, but I can't even listen to like R and B music. Like, well, I can, but like these old R and B niggas, they 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 cover on my on my. On my phone, yeah, you know they be naked all the time, bro. I, I that seems to be on some mook shit, bro. What do you mean? Which like Trey songs, what? like Trey songs. What's his shit. cover? His cover that g- b- gray, gray and gray cover. What? It's him naked. It's him. It's him with no shirt on. Okay, you got no shirt on. I'm thinking you're talking about butt naked. Come on, bro. You know what I mean, bro. What cover is what like, cover has uh, come on? But bro. like how many of his things have most of the stuff has like What the shit the shit that I be listening to got got no shirt on. I mean on. you don't gotta look at it. Like Yeah, but nigga, if I go on my phone, if I'm around at work, right? <laughs> Niggas go see a, n- a nigga with no shirt on my shit. If you don't see his no sh- no shirt, I'm be like, I- man, he listen to Trey Song. He good. Nah, bro. Like, it's not that bad. Nah. I'm thinking there's somebody like butt naked or no, something. Like bro. he's like, like come on, like Georgia the Jungle or something. Like Tarzan. Georgia the Jungle. Like with the leaf. Like on imagine. The print. Like come on, bro. Imagine the nigga, nigga, nigga go on this shit. That's a crazy picture. Exactly. And but like at the. I- <laughs> Go on this shit and you and you trying to unlock your phone and you listen to Trey Song. They, they can see this. This nigga like What you what? listen to? You listen like, to Jupiter what? Love, bro? Huh? You listen to Jupiter Love when you I, work? I listen. I listen to motherfucking. Jupiter Love. Nah, I don't listen to Jupiter Love. I listen to motherfucking. What's that? Say? Where you? Where? <laughs> be, be where you are. How's that go? I didn't want to be where you are. Oh, okay. <laughs> where you are. That, that's it. Go stupid, bro. And yeah. and that nigga. Yo, I remember I was listening to Tyrese, bro. Mm. Oh, wait. He, he don't How got a shirt. How you going to act like, like that. that? You know what I'm saying? I, no. And then, and then I, I, Dang, I unlock bro. my phone and I see I see this shit. I why? why? He got the fedora he's, on. He's tweaking. He got the. the he's tweaking. That's OD. I ain't going to lie. They got nothing but a fedora on, bro. <laughs> hey, I can't Who even chooses listen. these pictures? Them niggas, bro. But you like, know, what, what, why is, is that in their mind? Se- sexy shit. I you know, guess, but R&B like, there's supposed, other they're ways. They're supposed to be sex symbols, bro. <sighs> Sad. And I, I don't, don't want to. I know back then it was the men that was the sex symbols. Now it's the women now. Yeah, now it's the women. That's a fact. That's <laughs> a fact, though. Because the women back then used to be like. You know, like the have, Whitney Houston. Yeah, they had like respect for themselves. Yeah, and they had, they had like the not that not that you know, did I don't know. Come on, bro. Like, like come on, bro. Because <laughs> I don't want to like say it like they don't got respect for themselves. Like, I mean, they they do, but it's not as much as they did back then. You know what I mean? Right. We don't got them Whitney Houston's and the Mariah Carey's or the J Lo's or, or the J Lo's like that. You know what I'm saying? Because the only one that wasn't was a. Uh, uh, Janet Jackson, that was the only one that was like kind of like tweaking, but it wasn't that bad. It wasn't really that bad. I mean, they would talk. I mean, like my Lil, uncle's Lil Kim used to tweak though. Oh, Lil I don't Kim. know if you know Lil Kim. No, nah, I know. Look, I look. He thought. Why do I think Shorty. Lil Kim was a dyke, bro? 
At I one point, love. I like the way Lil Kim looked back back in the nineties, bro. Don't disrespect her. Bro. Hold on, let me look up. Don't Lil disrespect Kim. Lil Kim like that. Let, she was beautiful. Let me see. Don't disrespect Lil Kim like that, bro. Dang, she got so much work. She done. tweaked. Oh my gosh. Somebody's insecure. <laughs> but what? she was be- like Lil Kim was beautiful to me, bro. Yeah. I mean, she had her chin, but that don't matter. Yo, she don't even look the same. She don't look the same. Oh at my all, gosh. Yeah. Like, I remember my uncles be, they'd be like, damn, bro, like, like I'll, I'll pay to be on the stage with Janet Jackson. I'm really? like, damn, are y'all good? Like, I'm like, what'd she do? <laughs> like, what, like, he's like, yeah, man, like, I remember my uncle was talking about, he's like, yeah, there's a Janet Jackson car, I'm out there, bro. I'm like, are y'all good? Like, like what's happening? <laughs> Janet Jackson. That's what I'm saying, I don't know no I Janet Jackson songs. I don't know no Janet Jackson songs either, that's crazy. And he's like, I'm nah, I ain't even. about the songs, bro. I'm like, what the hell she, and then I remember. She I, ain't gonna pick you, gay. But I remember there was a video, and like, <laughs> Bro, they freaking strapped cuz to like them little guillotine things where his hands hanging and his legs is tied up. Oh, she was tweaking. Yeah, I'm like, what the heck is this? Oh, now nah, the Jackson. guy's face was wild, bro. I'm like, nah, I would be so embarrassed. Like, the be... man's face was oh, like, was, was he excited? <laughs> no, he was like like he was <laughs> tweaking, bro. Like I'm like I would nah, bro. You got to you got to hold it together, bro. Nigga, Hell, nah, man. nigga, if I if I was like back in the 90s, that's new shout. Either Kelly Rowland or Beyoncé. <laughs> Come at me, yo! When when they catered to you, woo! If they sang to me one 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 time, catered, I just wanna. Ca- and she she said, "Put your new rag on." Oh, you got it, bro! Put my new rag on. It gotta be it gotta be Beyonce or Kate Michelle though. Michelle, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it got it got. I said Kate. You Kate, said Kate, I said Kate Michelle. Michelle, Kelly Rowland. You know, gotta be one of them, bro. Dang. I'm sorry, Michelle. <laughs> but. It gotta be one of them. But at least they didn't. They didn't like tweak out though. They were just making nah, good they music. They didn't tweak like that. They didn't tweak like that. Y'all women, y'all need to go back to that, bro. I need to hear some of that. I don't like the drill or the 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 twerking the ratchet, music. The ratchet shit. I don't need that, bro. Like, bring it back cool to the two thousand. It's bro. cool. It's cool. But like, you really miss like the 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 the, the I don't know the feel of them singing. Yeah. About. Love, love bro and, and just that's what we grew up on bro. just them respecting themselves like me like like i i, I like it sometimes Wait, i like, like the ratchet it? sometimes but i don't want to listen to sexy red 24 nah. 7 game no nah, no nah. like it's just something that i can't do nope and listen to like jt and and like that's cool like it, you feel me I, I i like it sometimes but sometimes i just want to listen to Felicia Keys singing. Mm-hmm, bro. Sometimes I just want to listen. People in. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, yes, sir. Sure. Sometimes I just want to listen to that. But you feel me? I mean, this this era is going in a whole different direction, man. Yeah. It is what it is. Man. Free the young fellas, bro. Y'all, y'all young kings out there that's listening to this. Free y'all, bro. Cause y'all ain't living how we used to live, bro. Yeah, but I, I feel bad for y'all. I'm glad we talking about that though, cause it actually, is crazy because now, now it's gonna. I feel like it's gonna be harder for them to try to find like a. I don't think it just ain't wifey material for real, bro. Real uh, shit, bro. I don't like. I think you know. It's not. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's harder, but I think guys are gonna be a lot more hesitant mm. to because of what they see. So they're gonna think like, oh, that's how all girls are gonna be. But really, mm. it's not. It's not like that. I don't think it's. I don't think. It's, I, I don't think it's gonna be harder where the girls gonna change it like that. It's just gonna be the fact that guys is trying to trust them, and they're probably right. gonna be like one instant they're gonna think they cheat in, and now it's all out the door. All else fails. Right. All That's hell broke right. loose. But I'm glad we talk about now. I want to talk about uh, since we're talking about nostalgia, bro. I got a nostalgia draft for you. You a know nostalgia how nostalgia draft. You know how this is gonna go. No. So we have fifteen dollars. So I got four categories, and I'm gonna give you all the category, uh, whatever's in each category. We got food items, games, and TV shows. All right. And we're gonna $15. go. Yeah, you got fifteen dollars to spend. You can't go over, and you have to get something from each category. All oh, right. Yeah. And I'm gonna let you pick first. So we're, we're, at the end, we'll get to see who has the wait, better wait, one. Wait, what do you have? What? Oh, oh, wait. What's the categories? It's food items and. Uh, you'll, you'll see, bro. It's okay, a, cool. All right. So the first category is for foods. So for five dollars, we got Kid Cuisine, four dollars Trix yogurt, three dollars cheese nips, two dollars yogos, and one dollars gogurt. 
Five dollars Kid Cuisine. Four dollars Tricks Mix. Trick Tricks yogurt. Yeah, the Tricks yogurt, the one that the little swirls, bro. Four dollars. You gonna take the four dollars? Tricks. Or, or wait, what? What's the what's the two dollars? Three dollars? Cheese nips. You remember cheese nips? It was like che- it was like cheeses, but they looked like yeah. cartoon characters. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Nah, I'm taking that yogurt. That that tricks yogurt. That tricks yogurt. Niggas who know, know, bro. That shit was fire. I'm. Mm, I he took. I never. Took had, my I pick. never. I never had kid cuisine. Really? What you eat? You had the lunchables. Ah, uh, okay. I ain't really eat kid cuisine like that. Okay, okay. But I'm like, a, people, let me know. Let us know in the comments who got the better one, better list. Yeah, for my older guys, my young fellas, y'all probably don't know much about this. But I think I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take kid, kid cuisine at five dollars. You gonna take the kid cuisine? Cause kid cuisine, bro, that little penguin with the they had the chicken nuggets and the the, the brownies. Oh my gosh, bro! I remember. I, used to, I feel like I feel like yeah yeah no that's fine that's cool, but like what they like I feel like every lunch like or whatever tricks yogurt. you had to have the tricks yogurt bro. that i'm so mad like i and can you taste kept right that now. shit you kept that shit last bro yeah bro that was like that your dessert was, that was the, <laughs> that was your dessert but bro that was the dessert game i forgot yo when i Fire. seen that i'm like dang bro i haven't had one of those in years, years bro, bro. I, they, yeah, they, they don't, they don't sell them no more but i just discontinued mm. and then i know the yogos is the little yogurt balls things right the yogos I don't know if you, you. I used to have them. Damn, that shit was good. Good. Yo, just oh my gosh, bro. I might change my yogos low key. I'm gonna change my yogos. Are you gonna change? I'm gonna change the yogos. Isn't that the one dollar? No, it's two dollars. Two dollars. I'm gonna take my yogos was good. Yogos was good. Next item. Next we got items for five dollars is Heelys. Four dollars tech decks. Three dollars Pokemon cards. Two dollars Beyblades or one dollar wrestlers. Like action figures. Oh my gosh, that is hard. I know. But I'll let that you right there is hard. I let you pick first. Okay, so Heelys is out. I didn't. I didn't. You didn't have Heelys. I, I had Heelys, but you didn't like Heelys. I. It's not like I didn't like them. I was too scared to use them. <laughs> If I fell, bro, you feel me? It wasn't even that hard. Yo, you just, really just get one leg up and then the other one down. I was down. just a little scared, bro. I, I guess that's why I can't skate now, bro. <laughs> but I just, I, it was a little, I, I just didn't use them like that. I just, okay. I had Heelys, but I just never used them. Okay, okay. Tech decks, I used to love tech decks and I had a lot of them. Oh, well, not a lot of them. I had a pretty good amount. Just, I was ass with them. That's what I'm saying. You I was, feel me? I was, I was ass. Like, I, like, I Like, I see niggas do all some crazy shit. Yeah. I'm like, yo, how the fuck you do that? Remember dude? freaking, what's his name? Danny Virgil? Danny Virgil used to. I'm like, how the hell used to do yo, that? that's exactly what I was thinking about. I'm like, yo, this He used to do kick tweaking. flips. I, used, I couldn't. I didn't know how. I couldn't do that, bro. Fire. And niggas was really talented with that. Yep. I'll give you that. Um, What's number Pokemon three? Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards is very, very elite. Mm-hmm. I didn't know how to play them. But they were good. But they were good, bro. Whoever, had the good cards, whoever had the good cards, I was just like, yo, I beat you because it just looked I just, better. <laughs> it, just looked better. it just looked better. I didn't I didn't have no I didn't read the the the, the, I didn't the directions. Read the directions. I didn't read the how to play how to play nothing. No. Hey, just if my card looked better, bro. I won. Exactly. Oh. But nah. Got what Beyblades. Was, was number two? Beyblades are so. Yeah, I wanted so many of them. I'm saying, and you could yo. We used to bring those all the time to like freaking. Bo- I used to bring all the time to Boys and Girls Club, yo. and used to bring your like somebody used to bring the arena, yes. and then bring the Beyblades in your yes. book bag. Oh man, yeah, I bruh. used to really play Beyblades on the floor. I didn't have the arenas, bro. But first it was a really that's trench. <laughs> <He said, laughs> I play them things on the floor. <laughs> I put them on the floor. But, um. Or wrestlers. Or wrestlers. The thing about wrestlers, like... You can only do but so much. You could only do but so much. And uh, I kept them in my crib. I didn't really bring them out. I remember some niggas who brought them out. They, I was those. You know, showed, showed the wrestlers. Yeah. Seen the Undertakers and all that. Mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to do the Beyblades. Beyblades for... I'm going to do the Beyblades okay. for $2. So you got $9 left. I'm going to go with... I'm going to take Heelys. I'm going to take Heelys because I liked Heelys. You liked Heelys? I remember I bought Heelys and I was just riding around my grandparents' crib. It was so fun, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was, it was, like, honestly, it wasn't as hard to use as it looked. Mm-hmm. It wasn't that bad. All right, next we have games. So for $5, Black Ops 2, 
Four dollars, all computer games, like every all, all every game, like Club Penguin, Pop Tropical, all them games, all the all those games. Three dollars, Temple Run. Two dollars, the Pokemon games they used to play on like the DS and stuff like that, the old Pokemon games. Oh, fire. Or one dollar Mario Kart. That's good. Which games? Okay. So. PC games, I grew up on PC games. That's what I'm saying. Those I, games... Those games were essential. The freaking cartoon... When you used to go to CartoonNetwork.com, Nick.com, Disney... You know, all the, I played all those games. I beat most, maybe most of them. I played all of them. And Pop Tropica, I played that multiple times. What was the What was the freaking um, video, the, the games... The remember remember we used to be in uh, computer class and we used to have free days. You used to play the games. I forgot yeah. what that website was called. It, oh, mini clips. Mini clips. Mini clips. Mini clips was great. Yeah. Mini clip was great, and I remember when I have. Did I? Well, you know, I played a pinball. Yeah. On that shit, I, I played, played spider. P- polar bowler. Yeah. I don't know if you know about polar bowler. <laughs> Is that the bowling game? Yeah, the bowling game with, yeah, with yeah. that polar bear. Yeah, yeah. Yo, my uncle, central. My grandfather taught me how to play uh, spider. You know what spider is? Yeah, when you yep. the card game, card yep. game. Yep. Oh my gosh, bro. Yo, it's crazy because I don't know how to play spider no more, but I used to. Yeah, I used that used to be fun as hell, bro. Fun as fuck. Mm-hmm. Damn, bro, that's crazy. What you picking? Um, Got Black Ops Two up there. Black Ops Two. I'm not. Uh, I love Black Ops Two, but uh, I'm not picking it. What's your What's your favorite Call of Duty? The Modern Warfare Two. Ah. Um. Um. Uh, okay, so uh, what was number three? Temple Run. No. <laughs> number number two. Uh, the po- old Pokemon games. Like, oh, I was. Like the ones where it's either it's it's one it's one of those, the PC games or the Pokemon games. Which one are you picking? I might get the. I might get the Pokemon games. You gonna get the Pokemon games for two dollars? Yeah, for two dollars. All right. You see, you're setting yourself up for good for greatness, bro. I know. I'm picking all computer games though. Uh, you are. Yeah. Four dollars. Four dollars. I got four dollars if you have seven dollars left. Okay. All right. So now we're going to TV shows, and based on the oh, they're mostly they're cartoon shows, and the criteria is that they never had an ending episode, so they just were canceled. Okay. Right. So for five dollars, we have Teen Titans. Oh yeah. Four dollars, Samurai Jack. Okay. Three dollars, Danny Phantom. Two dollars Lilo and Stitch and one dollar my life as a teenage robot. That's good. I feel like I I, I have to go Teen Titans. I feel like I feel like I literally Titans. have to go Teen Titans, but I have what seven dollars. You, you can left. get whatever you want. I feel like I have to go Teen Titans. I like my life as a teenage robot. Because all these, I didn't know, all these shows, like, they didn't have no endings. They didn't. Like, they just stopped. Because I know Lilo and Stitch, they said something went wrong after two seasons. And then Teen Titans, I think, they couldn't finish it or whatever. So, right. there was, like, they, they just stopped when Beast Boy found his yeah, freaking found old it. team. Yep. Samurai Jack, they said Samurai Jack was too bloody. Mm. They said it was too, like, Yeah, that's why R. That's why I think they they um continued it. Didn't mm. you know they continued it? Oh, they made it, oh, they they, made it for yeah, Adult they, Swim, right? Yeah, Adult yeah. Swim. Yeah, Adult. Um... I have to go Teen Titans. Teen Titans because five? that 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 stop that, that 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 ending pissed me off, and I know it pissed the world off. Oh yeah, no, nah, I was so mad. And then when they came out, I'm sorry, Teen Titans Go is not a bad show. It's when, not- when I did watch it, I mm-hmm. don't really watch. It's not a bad show, but when they came out with that, I was so pissed. I'm like, yo, you guys have Teen Titans, and you're making it. I get, I get, I I understand. Like you're trying to relate to like younger audiences but come the fuck on exactly like are you serious like that's your i gotta have to go teen times i have to go five all right i'm a, i'm i'm gonna go i could go samurai jack but i really didn't watch samurai jack right, right me, me neither so I i'm going watch it when it got on yeah so i'm gonna go lilo and stitch Okay. Cause that was a really good show like like the movies were good mm-hmm. but the shows were even were really good because they used to like every show they had to capture a new alien mm. that was lost and there was like there were some tough aliens yeah, mm-hmm. like there was like there were OD mm. so I think Lilo and Stitch my my runner up would be maybe Danny Phantom because I feel like the ending to Danny Phantom oh, would be crazy oh wait hold on I, I wait oh my gosh hold on and st- 
It didn't have an ending. No. I thought he beat um like I thought the ending was like he beat um he beat Vlad or some shit like that. And I, what the fuck happened? I, it was probably an ending, but it probably wasn't like wasn't a like good that. ending. Like it yeah, was like yeah. a forced ending, probably. Yeah, right. Yeah, because I know that's what it was on the list as one of the. Yeah, Danny Fenn de- definitely might be. Yeah, I'll take I'll take I'll take I'll take Team Tynes. You take Team Tynes? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Lilo and Stitch just cause Lilo and Stitch was I love that movie. I love that show. I love the movies, I love the shows, it was good shows. But alright. Alright, I got a I got a question for you now, since we were talking about all the shows and stuff. So what type of horror mo- what type of horror movie would you rather try to survive if if it was real life? So a slasher film, like Freddy uh, not Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers, things like that. Like somebody's trying to kill you. A survival horror, like say you get lost in like the freaking yeah, no. woods or whatever. Not that one. Or a, a monster horror movie, like so Alien. Like, if aliens came down, like The Quiet Place, like Godzilla, or an animal horror movie, like with like Jaws mm. or like Lake Placid with a giant alligator, crocodile, mm-hmm. with like snakes on the plane, things of that nature. Which yeah. one would you rather try to survive? Honestly, the slashers. The slashers, right? Nah, I'm not. I'm not picking slasher. I'd rather pick Why like not? The, the animals. Cause you gotta think about it, the slashers. You want that's like Michael Myers. You got Michael Myers, Scream, Jason. They're all human. They're all human. What you gonna do? You're not living that. How? What do you mean how? They're trying to kill With you. The blip. Where are you gonna get a gun from? Do you own a weapon? I, I whoa, you fed, bro. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, this nigga fed, bro. This nigga fed. Whoa, whoa. The federalities on but, it. Hey, like, I'm just. <laughs> yo, I'm just asking, bro. Cause like, think about it. if I'm on snakes on the plane, I'm cool. I'm not, I just got. You crazy? Why? Snakes on the plane. There's only you're in the sky. Okay. There's only at you seen dude. You seen snakes? Yeah, snakes I seen on snakes on the plane. They was coming out those toilets. They were. I'm not using the toilets. I'm going to stand. I'm going to be in an area where nobody, where I could see my surroundings, and just I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be by the cockpit. I'm not gonna be in there, but I'm gonna be right by there. Those pilot, the pilots died, didn't they? I know, but like, I'm not gonna be in there. I'm just gonna be in that area. You know, the area where you walk in the plane. I'm gonna be in that area right there. Did you see the big ass snake that was in that plane? <laughs> yeah, but that was in the bottom though. I think- and then they go on top. It's crush. It's crush somebody, bro. If Ice Cube su- could survive that, I could survive that. Think about it. I, look, you. I could do that. Jaws. Just don't. Okay, Jaws is kind of wild. But Jaws I, is wild. But like, it's hella wild. Okay, I want to do Jaws. Jaws, no. But like, freaking like the the lake Lake Placid thing with the there's like a giant alligator in the lake. I could probably do that. I, I'm not fighting the thing, but you know, I'll be. I have help don't, with me. Don't don't like. Alligators like they could be in land. They could yeah, go they could go land. on land. That don't mean nothing. They, they don't mean nothing. To me, we got like those people had guns. The people that you fighting, they you they had they also had They're guns too. Humans, bro. Okay. They didn't have guns. They no, were all the, knives. Okay, the people that was trying to fight them had guns. They didn't do nothing. They ass. So you are John Wick? Well, the thing is though, you gotta understand. You got to understand. Yeah. No, I'm not John Wick. Mm-hmm. Just to answer your question. <laughs> but you got to understand, them niggas all in that movie are stupid as fuck, bro. Oh, so you just got to outsmart I Jason. I feel like you could... Jason? Yeah, like Jason... Jason is part of a slasher movie? Jason with the the mask? Yeah, he's a slasher. That's oh, shit. No Jason, way. Michael Myers... I could kill sc- Jason. Jason, Jason... Jason. Nah, but Jason, like, he, he don't do water. Okay, he don't do water, but, like, what you gonna do? You gonna push him in the water? Where you gonna find water? And think about it, too, bro. I have a vehicle. What but you don't fuck? think they had vehicles? They used to run them stupid. over. Nah, I feel like them niggas are stupid, bro. Nah, no, okay, but you gotta understand. Yeah. Them niggas in the movies, yeah, they're running, they're running them over. So, how are they not dead? They're given plot armor. They're plot armor. If we're in real life, they're dying. <laughs> if I run them, if I run them over, them niggas is dead. But like, Word think about, bro. bro. Think about, it. think about it right now. What if there's like a serial killer trying to get you right now, as you get into your crib? What are you gonna do? 
For me, at least. Don't wish that on me. I'm not wishing that upon you. God forbid all that. And I hope that don't happen. But I'm saying, well, for me, at least I got a group of people to help me take down this animal. Okay. You know what I'm saying? At least I got a group of people with me on that boat with guns and and spears to knock this shark or crocodile out of here. At least I got people on the plane with me to help me fight off some of these snakes. It's, it's just you. So I can't get prepared for this. I mean, how much you going to... I mean, you can get a gun and stuff if you want. But it's like... How much preparation do you really have for like Mike Myers and all them? That's what I'm saying. Think about think about like the Strangers. That's a slasher. That's a slasher film. You watch the Strangers? No, I didn't watch it. That junk is crazy. I, I, the Strangers movie that actually came out. That is OD. Like it was literally they were just killing them for no reason. It was three people. They just surrounded the house and would just mess with them. Like, oh wait, with the one with, with the, the mask, mask on? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen that. Like that was. Yeah, they just killed them in the end for no reason. For no reason, they didn't have no. Clue, but I heard that was based on a true story, though. Yeah, but like that's what I'm saying. Like, imagine that. No, I can't do it. That's too scary. At least, at least with the animals, I know what I'm going up against. There's a, I mean, granted, they in the movie they really didn't know, but like still, like that's a there's a giant shark or there's a giant freaking uh crocodile. But the other two, yeah, no, I don't think I could do the other two with the monsters. And uh, wait, low key with Godzilla, I'm not, I'm not fighting Godzilla. I don't gotta fight Godzilla. Don't look at me like that. Godzilla's not that bad. If it's the quiet place or like an alien invasion, then the that's quiet different. Quiet place, you're done. No, quiet place, I'm it's over. I'm I'm Bro, already I'm a, I'm gonna stub my foot, I'll scream, I'm dead. But I'm talking about like if it's uh if it's like Godzilla, Godzilla's tearing down Tokyo over there. I ain't over there. But if he comes to New York now, I'm done. Exactly. But like I don't have to fight him. I just gotta survive him trying to hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like the other ones, you got and like survival. That's a giant fucking dinosaur. I there. know, I know, I understand. But <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I just gotta. Are you serious? Hey, drive. Get in that. Get in the whip and just drive, bro. Whip. Getting in the whip is literally. It's oh, that's run? horrible too. Just run? I'd rather run. <laughs> <laughs> or would you do the survival one? No. Like uh, if you like crash landed in like a no. island, yeah, no. Oh, no, how dead. about how about if I add another one? How about if I add uh, like a ghost, like a paranormal, like poltergeist, Ooh. like in a crib? Will I survive that? Would you survive that? That's different. Like, though. did those ghost thing? Like, did they even they tried to kill them? Eh, yeah, they were trying or to like they possess were, them. They and were stuff. just like possessing them. They were like possessing them and stuff. That's basically what it is. You just, it's like I think it's like a battle with your mind and stuff. Right. Yeah. Would I survive that? Yeah. I don't know about me. I think that's too much. But, okay. Like, why didn't they just move? Hey. I don't know. Like, yo. Like, I'm a little confused. Like, I have. <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> wait. Yes, I'll survive that. Why didn't they just move? <laughs> hey, bro. I don't even know, cuz. What? Yo, like, I would have, like, just moved that's with what I'm the saying. quickness. As soon as I seen something. As soon as I seen some shit, bro. I'm out of there. Yo, I remember you talked about like this lady. Like, remember she she was like you you talked about. Oh, as a <laughs> okay. I'm like yo. I thought that was a spider. Girl. Oh no. I thought yeah. Like, oh, the lady in the lady. crib. Yeah, and tw- they they possess their kids. And yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. Nah, I would I would have been dipped out. I'm out after the first thing. I'm out of there. Like I'm going to. I'm literally going to like somebody's crib, like, yeah. wh- like what? Now, if it happens, like if it follows me, but I, which I doubt it, move. Yeah, that's what it I'm should. saying. I, I, that's, yeah, once I that. see my kids wilding or saying something, I'm out of there within that day. Like, right, what came out? Like, I'm out of there. Like it's cr- like, bro. Like I remember. Like, do you know the story of like the Amityville house? No. Like they did them so dirty. Like you know Amityville horror, like the movie. Mm-mm. You never heard of Amityville Horror? That was like so. That was like the first like haunted house movie. Mm-hmm. They made it in like the eighties or whatever. Mm-hmm. So like in the seventies, there was a guy. He freaking um, his name was what was his name? Freak! I forgot what his name was. His name was uh, it was his name was Robert DeFeo, and at three fifteen in the morning, he just randomly heard voices in his head and killed his entire family. What the fuck? Like he killed his mom, dad, his two brothers, two sisters, killed them all, and then he went to he went to jail and he tried to plead insanity, but it was like, nah, you got six years, six life sentences. Mm-hmm. But he he tried to tell him like, yo, there's something speak telling me in my head like 
kill your family. So I'm like, they're like, okay, that's crazy. And it's, and it's also crazy because it's like, and that was the first, you know, um, so, so basically after all that happened, right? 13 months later, a family moved into that crib, which is crazy. Like they didn't do nothing to the crib. They didn't tear it down. Somebody moved into that house. Like they literally sold the house and the family was confused because it was a nice crib. And they was wondering why it was so cheap. Nah. So they thought they got it for a steal, That's crazy. but they went into the crib they said they brought a, they were not really religious, but they brought a, a priest to like bless the house. And they said the priest went upstairs and heard like somebody say, get out. And then he told them like, yo, don't make a, put a bedroom upstairs. They didn't listen, bro. They said they heard, they would hear like mumbles, footsteps, doors opening and closing. They said they used to see, like they would turn the heat up in the house, but it would never get hot. Like it was just stay cold. What? Like they'll have the fire on. It would just be mad cold in the crib. And the dad said like he would wake up in the middle of the night every night. At 3.15 a.m. And on the dot. And he will see like shadowy figures. And like he'll have like uh, sleep paralysis where he can't move. And he'll hear like his daughter's bed upstairs like moving up and down. Like somebody's like picking the bed up and going like this. But he couldn't move. And he said like his freaking wife like levitated out this out of her bed or whatever. And after like this happened in like within a month, bro. And then they dipped after that. It was like, yeah, oh, hell yeah, no. exactly. Like dip. And then that's when like the whole like you know the the Warrens like from the Conjuring like the two like the wife mm-hmm. and the the husband they went in there did their whole paranormal thing and that's what started their whole journey to becoming like the paranormal ghost adventurers oh, people was that house it's the Amity thing yeah but you know what I heard about them bro about the Warrens bro like the whole ghost thing I heard they faked it I heard everything like from the Conjuring to that Amityville house. To the poltergeist, all that stuff is fake, bro. What do I mean? Like, it's not... Like, you know how they say it's based off a true story? Yeah. It wasn't based off a true story. They was they just stretched it. Like, they stretched so the whole... are the Warrens, like, real people? They're real people, but they're, like, like con artists, low-key. Like, they just sold the story to, like, Warner Bros. and all that, making it seem like they're, like, these big ghost hunters, this, that, and the third... And that they seen all these demonic things, but really they just created stories out of it just to make money. What? Like think about it like this, right? Like the Amityville house, right? So what happened was none of that stuff happened. Like with the priest, none of that stuff happened. With the the people levitating, none of it happened. What? They because they went to the the lawyer of the guy, but all the stuff that with the murders that happened though, all oh, that, happened, that happened. That happened. Yeah. So you think that guy lied? Who the? That guy lied. Oh, there's something in my head. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. He was pre, pre, like he was trying to act like he was insane, but he was. I really... think, yeah, I think he because yo, even to this day, like before, like he didn't, he never got the death penalty. They was actually, he would always say like, like I think he was crazy though, because like they would give him his food and he'd be like, you know, I, I killed everybody in my house, but I just never got my grandmother. And he said, I'm going to hell because I never got my grandmother, and that's the reason why I think he's going to hell because he did kill he the grandma. Really her. Wow. So he killed, he said he got everybody else, but he's like, yeah, man, no, I just didn't get my grandma. No, he's crazy. So that's why, so I think he is crazy. Yeah. But the, the, his lawyer was trying to, well, help, well, who helped him get like pleading insanity or whatever. I, I heard he was writing a book on the side about it. And like the family that moved into the crib, they were low on money. So they was like, all right, you know, we'll help you like write a book. But like, they didn't like his offer of how much like he was giving, he was giving them. He was, they were saying like, he's probably saying like 75, 25. And then they found another person to like write a book about the, their experiences, and that's what created the whole series of the Amityville horror movies and stuff. Was that person who wrote that book? And that's like the famous book that you see everywhere mm. because they get fifty fifty. So they were just lying about the whole thing, mm-hmm. like with the Conjuring house. That was all a lie, bro. I thought that ha- really happened. Niggas, niggas just did that, bro. bro. They said like the person who lived in the Conjuring house, like the actual person that lived there. She said. She wasn't being haunted or nothing like that. She just was mad because everybody used to come to her crib and trying to see if it was haunted. Like, people what? used to sneak on her land and bring cameras and this, that, and third. But really, nothing was going on. And, like, the whole story with the with the, with the the Conjuring was, like, the house was cursed by a witch that used to kill and eat her, ki- and her children, and she cursed the house. But really, like, that lady, the lady that they talk about, she's real, but she didn't kill nobody. She didn't kill no kids. She wasn't what She was actually a nice lady. Wow. And like she was buried, like she, I think she died in like the early 1900s, and she's like buried somewhere on the property. But like that's because it's her land. It's not like she's haunting the haunting the place. Wow. So all this stuff is fake. And even I heard about like Ed Lorraine Lauren, Ed Lorraine Warren, and them. Like they're just like freaking con artists. I heard he was like like a 
like a pedophile, bro. What? Like he grew. Warren? Yes, like the, 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 the Ed the Warren, guy. the guy, bro. Like I heard he groomed this one girl. She was like 16. She was living with them and she got pregnant by his kid and they had like an abortion because they had, they didn't want it to look yeah, bad in their yeah, image. Right. But I'm like, bro, I, this whole time, I thought this was real, bro. Wow, these niggas just be selling stories. They was just selling, like, they literally, <laughs> bro, like, okay, granted, some of the stuff might be real. Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe, maybe, like, the knocking, maybe there might be some spirits walking around. But, but like, people levitating. Yeah, and, but yeah, he yeah. stretched, like, he would, like, he would, he had story writers. Like, he didn't have no journalist. He didn't have no, like, like, people that be on the news, like, be around him documenting. No, he had story writers. And he'd be like, all right, just make up the rest. What? Yes, bro. I was, that was like, nah, there's no way this is true. Like, my whole life is a lie, bro. This is all a lie. Like, is this all? <laughs> wow, them niggas really just. They they scammed us. They scammed niggas, bro. Like, all that stuff. They made the hella bread off of that. Bro, shit. stupid, bro. That's like a billion dollar series, bro. The Conjuring series? Yeah, bro. That's like nine movies. Yeah, they tweaked. Like, bro. And like that's nobody ever knew about. It. They all thought it was like yeah, because they say it's based off a true story. And then at the end, they always show video proof of it. Nah, bro, they really they used oh, to. Yeah, they do, right? Nah, bro, that junk's not real. I don't know about that stuff though. That one might be different, but still, like if you fake that much, what else? Like just imagine if you lie about this. What else are you lying about? Yeah, bro. They said they did ten thousand investigations. If you did ten thousand invest. If you did an investigation a day, that would take twenty seven years. They have they weren't doing it for that long. Mm-hmm. Like they started, may, I mean, maybe it might add up, but like, granted, the only famous they only had like a handful of famous ones. Mm-hmm. So like the other ones, they was probably just doing some BS. Because mm-hmm. you know the the whole thing with the wife is like she could talk to ghost. Mm-hmm. What if she was faking? Nah, that's crazy. That's OD. I was like, that's crazy. I'll be so. They really came up off of that shit. Bro, they came up OD. That's like the biggest finesse ever. Yeah, that is. Like, just just telling a story. Literally. Motherfuckers just telling uh, somebody else's story. Now, somebody else's story. Now they made a movie off of it, off of of your likeliness, of your story. And now, literally, you you just don't got to do nothing anymore. Exactly. And I feel like they they made it. That's crazy. It made it easier for like the Amityville house because like they had like a backstory to it. So, like a reason why it could be true. It was already like famous type shit. Yeah, because somebody freaking got murdered. Like there was people murdered in this crib. Like there was a, like, there was like, they documented, like, like, like when they went over there and they documented it. They they brought like a camera crew and they took a pic. They got like a they, you know they put cameras around the crib, yeah. so they got a picture of like a like a a boy, a little boy, and they thought it was like one of the little brothers that he killed, but it was really the one of the cameramen that was just walking out of the thing. Wow. And people, but like nobody ever questioned it, so nobody ever went back and looked at it. So they, mm-hmm. but they was running with it like, yeah, now nah, look, we just caught a ghost because like it was like like clear HD, like it looked like a real kid, like with his eyes was glowing. But the only reason why the eyes glowing because it was like a flash. Mm. There was a light. Yeah. But I'm like, yo, that's like OD. Like, like, bro, we be doing all this little ghost hunting shit. There's really nothing be in there. Yeah, nah, there's nothing. Like, come on, like, yo. That's tough. Like, come on, bro. They really cooked this, bro. Like, I, hey, man, maybe ghosts aren't real. I don't know. But I ain't. You think so, bro? <sighs> that was hard to think. It's like, hard to th- You know what? I don't think it's to a point where. Where, like, they're possessing you. Yeah, where they're possessing you and, like. You know, levitating and th- maybe throwing stuff, maybe because I I, t- I was telling Jordan the other day, freaking there be stuff moving around my crib all the time. I don't know what happens to it, mm. so I don't know. But I don't know about all of that. But maybe like seeing things, like maybe seeing a little figure walk by, and then oh, there was another time where I think they was doing a movie for like <clears throat> it was like it was like I think it was based on like the Poltergeist or whatever, and they had like real footage of like there was a cemetery. And there was, like, a, a woman in a white dress walking across, like, a cemetery. It looked like a ghost. But the whole time, it was that little girl that was living with them. He, Ed Lorraine was like, yo, can you go to the cemetery and walk, like, walk around it in a white dress? And they got on film. Wait, wait, wait. Say that again? So, right? So, I guess there was... I forgot what movie it was. But there was a movie where there was, like, a haunted cemetery. Right. And they set up a camera. And they got footage of... A woman in all white, like a ghost woman, walking around the cemetery. Right. But the whole time, remember when I told you there was like a, a young sixteen year old girl that used to live with them that he like, yeah, like groomed and stuff and had sex with. Yeah. And even his wife. Knew it about, was that girl. It was that girl because Ed was like, "Yo, can you go around this cemetery and walk around it with the with the dress on?" That's crazy work. That's crazy, bro. That and that was like the best proof that they ever had. 
That was the biggest thing they had, other than that one picture that they debunked. Everything else, like... That's crazy work. That's what I'm saying, but, like, where they... Re- Wait, hold on. So, that girl that they was grooming... Yeah. That he was grooming. Mm-hmm. The wife knew about it, too? Yes. There's some weird Bro, they said... She used to say bro. that he used to beat her, like, really badly. The girl? Yeah, not the not the little girl, or like, her. the wife. The yeah, wife? the wife. Like, what? Ed used to be his wife, and, like, he was a terrible person. Wow. Like, it's bad, bro. Like, they freaking... Like, they started out being, like, I think they were, I think they met, like, they met at, like, a, Young I think age. in high school. High school, yeah. And she was like, yeah, I could talk to ghosts. And he was like, oh, yeah, I think my house is haunted. And then they started, they made, like, a business where they would go to people's houses and they'll, like, freaking paint their houses because they think it's haunted and give, and like, try to sell them a painting. Mm-hmm. But they weren't getting no money. So he was just, he just became, like, a, like a bus or a truck driver. Yeah, right. So he was, I guess he was trying to, they were trying to make some money. They was like, you know what? Let me go. Let it. We have some experience with paranormal. Let's go to these people and just be like, let's There's make a story. They, yeah, they're haunted. Their that's house a, is haunted, bro. That's a finesse. And just bro. make some bullshit. That's, that's a, crazy. That's a crazy finesse, bro. That's W. Hey, man, you gotta get it how you get it. I can't be mad at you, man. Yeah, you can't. You can't be mad. At you gotta that's get crazy. it how you get it, bro. But dang, bro, that's my. I really thought all that stuff was real, bro. Mm. That's a damn shame, so bro. That shit, that shit fucked you up now. Yeah, bro. You can't even watch a paranormal paranormal video any oh sh- movie. I could anyway. watch it, but like, hey man, like it, if it says it's based on a true story, you ain't believing it. Yeah, <laughs> like it's like it's like I don't know. Wasn't paranormal activity based on true story? Um, I think it was. I don't know. I don't know if it was based off a true story. Or it was like similar to a true story because that's what they say. They say based off of based off of means like. Yeah, like it happened. It happened, but like not like this. Not like this yeah. But like, That's yo, exactly. you know what I think is actually kind of crazy? You ever watch the Blair Witch Project? No, I didn't. That movie is actually nuts. Really? Because we know what they did. So they basically made a movie, like a point of view movie. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't like there was cameras here, cameras here. It was like, nah, yeah, the, the actors view. are using the cameras. Mm-hmm. And what they did was they got act like they picked three, four or five random actors. And they didn't tell them what, what, what they were doing. So they just put them in the woods and they scared them on purpose. Really? Like they will out, they will go out there do all these scary things so they can get like real emotions out of them. Like mm. they didn't give them no script. They was out there just winging it. That's what the Blair Pers- <laughs> Witch Project is. I think, but there might have been something in there, and that might have scared them. But like I heard, most of it was just like, yeah, nah. They were just some of the some of the directors would go in there like go to their tent like move their tent around and just run off. They might put some stuff up to scare them, but it was basically like a like a scary project mm-hmm. just to see like what they can get from and see if they can make it into a movie, mm. which is sick. Imagine that is some sick shit. Imagine we be, we go into a movie thinking like, Oh no, I mean, what, what's the movie? It's like, no, nah, we'll, we'll tell you later. <laughs> like you guys just go, we, we you guys are just going to have this camcorder. You guys going to go camping and this, that, and the third. And it, it turns out to be a horror film. That's crazy. I'll be bad as hell, bro. <laughs> oh, so them niggas was just basically like, Random people. Yeah, there was like you know starter actors, mm. so they weren't really they were, but they weren't acting though. Like they were actually like scared, yeah, like they actually like wanted to go home and shit. That's crazy. Hey man, but uh, what are the questions I got for you? Cause oh, before we go on, I gotta we gotta we'll be right back. We got a commercial for you guys. Yo yo yo, what's good everybody? I just want to take a break in the podcast to mention our sponsor for today's episode, Seat Geek. Shout out to Seat Geek for partnering with us to give you guys. A special code, code no regulars at checkout. That is N O R E G U L A R S, all caps at checkout. Will save you twenty dollars on your first purchase with SeatGeek of over fifty dollars. Think about it, people. That's twenty dollars. This is a day and age where there's inflation everywhere. SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app on the market. They have over seventy thousand events. They got sports. They have music festivals. They got concerts and many more. They have over 28 million downloads. 28 million downloads. Come on, people. Y'all think we scamming y'all? But if y'all afraid of the scammers, they have a rating system of how safe each ticket is from a 1 to 10. Because you know we don't like them scammers. So tune in to SeatGeek. Thank you again for sponsoring our podcast. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout to save you $20 on your first order of over $50 or more. That's N-O-R-E-G-U-L-A-R-S. Thank you again, SeatGeek. Now let's get back to the podcast. I'm not saying we get we different than regular regular. You know what I'm saying. Come on, let's get back to the podcast. I'm sorry, people. We out and we're back. Okay, I had to put that in there. <laughs> oh shit, I don't see you. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I put them in the I put the the commercials in the middle. But all right, I got a question for you, Fritz. So, you are being forced to survive one year in prison and one year in the Amazon, but 
only one of them you can get an expert to help you. Which one are you choosing? What do you say? You are you are being forced to survive one year in prison, like state prison, one year in state prison, or one year in the Amazon. But you get a choice. Whichever one you pick, you get to like you get a you get a you get to pick an expert to help you when in one of those challenges. Which one are you choosing? In prison. You taking prison? Yeah. Oh wait, no, that's one person. There's one person. Versus so you're gonna be in the Amazon by yourself for a year. Or be in prison in a year for a year by yourself. One of those one of those options you're gonna be by yourself. Is which one you want yeah, to be? I'd be prison. Prison? No, hell no. I'm taking Amazon. Amazon, bro. Yeah. You're not surviving the Amazon by yourself. There's no way you're surviving that. I'm taking an expert, either Bear Girls or that dude that be on Joe Rogan podcast all the time talking about the names. I am taking those people. I'm not like, okay. What I don't the, know if Bear Girls gonna well, he's gonna help, but what they gonna do for you in prison? Just protect you? Yeah. I mean, you can you can get that on your own. Aren't you a likable guy? Yeah, but niggas don't give a fuck sometimes, bro. What you mean? Niggas gonna niggas gonna try to test niggas. I right, test them, it fight back. Li- it ain't liking you back. It's it it's 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 like it's like you not. They gonna test niggas, bro. All right, bro. This is what you do. All I'm right. gonna fight back. Fight back. At, at, catch at catch day. somebody lacking in a TV room with a shank. You good. Don't, nah. don't gotta kill him, but like, <laughs> like just like you know, just like wound him, and just run. You think you think that's gonna gain my respect? Yeah, I rather, I I can't. It's gonna suck, but I rather have help for the Amazon than for prison, because in the Amazon, it's I don't know what's in there. I can have. I might have to fight a jaguar. I might have to fight a panther. I might have to fight the native people. But with when bow that and shit happens, bro, you might be done, bro. But like at and least both of y'all done. But <laughs> like, but at least know. I know where not to go and where to go. Like this guy might be like, oh, these are jaguar tracks. Let's go the other way. Mm. Oh, this is where the natives be getting their water. Let's not go drink here. Let's go down this way. Yeah, but what if it's somewhere that they don't know though? Well, at least they then know they- enough. Okay. Like they know enough to like be like, okay, like this yeah, is what you could eat, this is what you can't eat. Right. Don't drink this still water. Uh you might not want to go in this river right here. There might be crocodiles, like stuff like that. Like I can't like by myself. Like he might have some he might have he might have equipment with him. He might have a tent. That's true. In prison. Hey man. I'll but then f- again though, like me when like me, I'm looking at it at, in this point of view as in like in prison I have a chance. To actually like live through, through it, right? Mm-hmm. In the Amazon, I think I'm gonna die either way. You gonna die either way? Yeah, like I'm like. I think it's possible. Even if I have a like, and I don't need that. In prison, I might get you know I have time. I might get you know. I'm gonna need an expert until I leave. Yeah. But I mean, in Amazon, I might get, I'm, I'm, I might be stuck there forever. You're gonna be there for a year. It's both a year. Oh, you said a year. Yeah, they're both gonna be a year. Oh shit. So when the year's over, you're done. See, I feel like if I have a stay, if I have a, if I have a um, expert in prison, that year's gonna go by quick. But like, what can, what can an expert, expert in prison teach you? What? What to do? Like, what are they gonna do? This be like, don't talk to these it's people. Not like they are gonna teach me something. They gonna protect. Yeah, you gonna, gonna have gonna like a Debo me. looking dude. Yes. Okay, one Debo. There's still eight of them. Mm-mm. You guys can still but get. That, guess what? That Debo might have niggas. Debo, Debo, bro. If you're the king of the prison, if you're an expert <laughs> in prison, my nigga, you have people behind you, gang. Mm. You ain't think about that. But he not gonna. You be- ain't. You ain't. You ain't the expert for nothing. But he not gonna be around you all the time. You might he get gonna have to be, bro. Oh, so you gonna follow him around? I, yes. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll be right behind him. I'm right here with you. <laughs> Wherever he you go to the bathroom, I sleep, bro. Where you going to the bathroom? We going to the bathroom. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's straight like that, bro. I'm gonna be behind him, <laughs> right behind him, right behind him. Literally, bro. He gonna have to be right next to me. He gonna have to be my bunkie. Mm. He's like at that point, but like in in the Amazon, I feel like I'm gonna die rather. Whether I have a person or not, I don't think so. I think you can live. Nah, 
Yeah. <laughs> because if them, if them, if them, M or if them, um, Amazonians, indi- Amazonian or, or whatever, the indigenous people, bro, just want to go out for a stroll. They see us. They see us. <laughs> oh, we're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> there's no, there's literally no, like, there's nothing you can do. I think I, I think, can. Remember that uh, Rockefeller guy, bro? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He got eaten. Exactly. He, he, he but was, he didn't have no he, expert like was, I had. But he was the expert. No, he wasn't. He was just painting pictures. He was taking pictures of these people. He was just a oh, journalist. Yeah, yeah, but but still, he he liked he liked. Yeah, that's true. Like man, he wasn't an expert, but still, he he he, he supposedly. So either way, you're going to die. Yes. But think about it. You are gonna you you're doing both, right? You might not die in prison. But you you could you are more likely to die in the Amazon. So you're doing both. It's not like you're picking one. You're doing both. I can live if I get if I have somebody with me that boosts my chance of survival in the Amazon. In prison, I'm not really gonna die unless I do some dumb stuff. Oh, I'm doing both. Yeah, you're doing both. It's not like I'm you're not picking, picking one. one. No, you're doing both. You have to do oh, both. Shit. So two years of your life is being spent surviving. Oh shit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> look at him. Look at him now. He, he's stuck. He got, uh, you don't know. He already, he just wasted his chance. Like, oh look, look. Oh, uh, prison was fun with me and Debo in there. I was always with them. All right, let's go to Amazon. Now you're by yourself. Oh shit. <laughs> look at cuz. <laughs> look at cuz. I might be the expert. Hey, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Damn. I thought I was just picking one. Nah, bro. All right. <laughs> That's tough. But all right, I got another question for you, bro. So. I'm giving. I'm going to name historical figures. Name a superpower you think they would have. First superpower off the top of your mind, off the top of your head. Okay. Right. Okay. Ready. So Harriet Tubman. <laughs> <laughs> I say super speed <laughs> or teleportation. Oh God, bro, that woman had superpower, bro. Harriet Tubman, she saved nine hundred slaves. 900 to 1,000 slaves. She saved a whole without high school. No, no one, bro. Without knowing, without technology, without education. Yeah, nah, that's that's crazy. That's bro. teleportation yeah. or speed, bro. Yeah, shout out to Harriet Tubman. Shout bro. out to you, bro. That's, you about to save my uncle. Yeah, that's just crazy, bro. That's good, bro. <laughs> Yo, speed. Harriet Tubman just came back and started dying. Um... Yeah, um think speed. Yeah, that that's teleportation right there. How the hell you think she did it, bro? The underground werewolf, nigga. (laughs) Okay, but like obviously. (laughs) 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 But like how did she save this? Like she's like, yo, follow me. Like she's like like she popped up in the middle of the ground like in like in the freaking Planet of the Apes movie. It is crazy like how nine hundred nine hundred bruh decided that yeah, let's. If let's you could save nine hundred, they could have been left without you. Mm-hmm. They could have been left. Yeah, but they were just scared. But like that's what I'm saying. Okay, underground railroad. How did they get there? I don't know. Like I need to know my. I need to do some research. Me too. I'm like, did she? Because I know cause some. There was some entrances crazy. like on the bottom of houses. Mm-hmm. So like, did she like sell herself to that slave owner, and like was infiltrating like on a secret spy level type shit, and then she was like, yo yo. I'm about to dig like I got people digging a hole under like like Pablo Escobar mm-hmm. and like yo let's go like let's go and then we out. Yeah, I don't know. Damn, imagine the slave owner. He probably where the hell they go? Yeah. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga seen the desertedness. He was like, yo, what the hell? Yo, I know Frederick. That nigga, I know that nigga was pissed. Yo, Felix, what the I hell? I know that nigga was pissed. I'd be mad as hell. <laughs> like what? <laughs> like, yo, like, where the hell them niggas go? <laughs> I didn't want to say it. He said it first. Yo, yo, bro. I'm saying where where they go? Yo, John, you seen them? I don't know. It's like they vanished. Yo, that's just funny. I'll be mad as hell. Nine hundred. That's a hundred dollars down the drain. That's hella bread down the drain, bro. That nigga, that nigga, it lost hella bread. Cause you know there was some slaves they used to breed more slaves. Mm. Man, imagine they got the strong one. <laughs> where with like damn where Otis at, bro? <laughs> took Otis. <laughs> Yo, Otis. that's crazy, bro. 
They done took Otis, bro. They took Otis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. That's crazy, bro. Yo, all right, bro. Nah, that nigga was pissed. Yeah, I'd be so mad, bro. <laughs> all right, Abe Lincoln. I think he'll be like, he got like super strength. Mm-mm. Like super soldier. Because wasn't he wrestling bears? Abe Lincoln was wrestling bears? I think so. Supposedly. Sure? Yeah, I think he was like, they was out there wrestling with them. <coughs> I'd I'd be like Super strength or like Nah motherfucker Motherfucker can use this Top hat as a As like a weapon As, like as a gam- shield <laughs> Like the gambit Or some shit Cause say he the was top gambit hat, The top hat That turns into a shield <laughs> Motherfucker Motherfucker Like, 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 I, like, like an e- ion beam cut, Whatever cuts you bro Oh that's actually hard bro. <laughs> That's actually hard right oh, That top hat That top, top hat crazy hat as, a, as a As a as a, Ooh, as a, as a, as okay. a weapon, bro. Okay, the top hat. Loki, Loki, maybe, maybe mind control. I was gonna say mind control. I was gonna say like a Professor X type. Yeah, thing, like bro. he can like like he looked at. He was like, you know, this is how I'm gonna <coughs> get elected again. I'm gonna say I'm gonna free the slaves because that's what they all wanted. Right. Yeah, that's what they wanted. That, that's what. I, that's what I was. Gonna that's say. why. That's a good one. That's a that's good, a good all right. one. I was gonna say like Professor X type nigga. All right, and Frank. Oh, she's. Gotta be invisibility. She, 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 yeah, she's invisible. Or, yeah, I mean they. I mean she was there for like a couple of weeks, wasn't it? Like I thought what, it was like a was, year. Yeah, I thought she was out there for a minute. Yeah, no, like it was a while, right? Yeah, in the attic. Um, damn, it has to be invisibility. It gotta be invisibility, bro. It has to be invisibility. How'd she get caught? Oh, I I read this and I yeah, forgot, I know. Bro. Like, what the hell happened? How you I do? forgot. That must suck. Yeah, that that must suck, bro. Your heart must drop. I know. I, I know. Oh my <laughs> gosh, bro. my heart would been in my ass. Yo, you hear that? Because I'm just chilling and shit, niggas. I'm thinking niggas ain't, you know, ain't no. You feel me? Like you and just, then you just hear. I nice, nice, nice. Yo, you just nice hear the flesh a, down. <laughs> and then you just hear, you just hear the creaking going up the thing. Oh my gosh! Just, just like, oh man, imagine, hey, imagine the creaking, bro. Oh nah, I'm done. My heart is pound. I know her heart was pounding out her chest, yeah, bro. bro. Like, dang, they got me, bro. Yeah, they got us, bro. That's crazy work, bro. Yeah, but um, probably invisibility. You gotta be invisibility, bro. Dang, that's damn. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a crazy story too. I know. That's crazy. She was just that hiding I, in the attic. Yeah, wasn't it? Something dang. Like that. And then they sent. And it was her. It was her. It was her. Her dad. Her mom. Her mom. I think her sister. I think her did. Her, I think the sister was the only one that lived, right? I think was it? I don't know. I feel like somebody I thought they killed everybody. I don't know. I know they sent it to like a concentration camp, but I feel like they sent them to different ones. Mm-hmm. And like the sister, like as soon as the war ended, the sister didn't get like killed. I think. Really? I think. I don't know. I really uh, don't I got, know. I got. I got. I got to look that up again because I remember there was somebody related to Anne Frank that told <laughs> these stories. I know she was famous for what writing them like writing memoirs, the diaries. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. You know what I mean? Slay's been writing diaries. We didn't get no freaking. Stuff in the history books. That's crazy. You know that, bro. You know how it be, bro. Um, Gandhi. Damn, Gandhi's hard. That's what I'm saying. I feel like Gandhi's another Professor X type of person because I'm like, because right. he was very like influential. influential. Yeah. And it was like, like, like <laughs> if I'm, if honestly for me, if I'm looking at this, day, I'm like, why would I listen to you? Yeah. You know what's crazy? It's actually crazy. <laughs> I was watching like a video of like Gandhi because I was trying to look up some topics. I was looking at a video of Gandhi, and I and I was I was watching it. I was eating like yogurt and I was getting disgusted. <laughs> like Why? I have no clue for it. I really don't know. He was getting disgusted. Like I was by like, oh yes. Like the way he looked, I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh God! What's wrong with this? Because he's walking around with no shirt. I'm like, I'm eating my. I'm like, ugh. What? <laughs> <laughs> like that's so crazy. Yo, this thing is crazy. <laughs> he's nuts. <laughs> Yo, God. are you serious? What the? What are you? Getting <laughs> <laughs> this nigga looks like a adorable ass. <laughs> like this thing is like. Look at this thing. I ain't disgusted by. Oh no! He was just walking around. Nigga like, look like a kid. <laughs> what the fuck? I was just like, ugh, man, like, ugh. What did Gandhi like? I think peace. I don't no. freaking know. Uh, peace, love, happiness. He was probably just like a pacifist. 
think it was just an old man. That's what I'm saying. We made yeah. a lot of people famous for no reason. You think so? There was no reason? Like, I mean, like, like what about, like, what about, what about, like, Bob Marley? You think he was famous? No, no, I think not. Nah, well, he, instead of his music, right? Yeah. No, nah, I think he was actually, like, they still say what, like, he freaking, like, his saying, like, one love. Like, that's how you say goodbye in Jamaica. Right. That's OD. That is OD. Imagine I had a catchphrase, and then when I die, everybody's saying that as, like, goodbye. Yeah. That's OD. Like, everybody, as soon as you leave, like, one love, I'm like, one heart. One. <laughs> this thing's a dweeb, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you think Gandhi But I don't is famous for no reason I don't think he's famous For no reason But like Like you don't think he had I feel like The, the same influential Shit I feel like, like the that. same way In the NBA They pick and choose Who they could be They want to be the face of the league They pick and choose Historical figures Who they want to Tell in the history books mm-hmm. You know what I mean That That's that just me I don't know I, I feel like it's very biased In America But um, Gandhi was like Indian. He was Indian, but I don't know. Like I, that's what I'm saying. I think he was just like a, more like a monk than anything. You think so? I think he was like a monk. He was just very peaceful. Like no, nobody. Like he didn't fight. <coughs> I, I I heard a thing that <coughs> I heard a thing saying that Gandhi was um Jack the Ripper. What the fuck? That's you know so why? Random. It was what? No, it's not. It's like it's not random, but it's like because in so suppose I think. The, whenever the killing started with Jack the Ripper, that's when Gandhi went to the UK for studying. And Did then, he? yeah, like when he was younger, he went there to study, I guess, like for like studies and university, or whatever. Mm. And then when he left, the killing supposedly stopped. stopped. So imagine if he was the killer and now he just becomes a so peaceful man mm. and so all loving guy. And like, oh, now nah, I really just murked these women out there. Wow. I don't know. That's a stretch, but. That is a stretch. But. Hey, man, you know people like putting two and two together. All right, I got one last question before we end the pod, bro. Because it's getting hot in here. I'm getting hot. You getting hot? Yeah, I'm going to type hot. Really? I I, I thought it was going to be hot. It was hot as fuck today. Yeah, it was like 85, 90, bro. it's bad today. It's good, bro. We're getting to the summer weather. Yes, sir, bro. We about to start doing podcasts outside, people. Stay tuned for that, bro. Yes, sir. We about to change. really? Yeah, about to change locations, bro. Probably next one. Probably next one we're gonna do it. Next one, like yeah, the pod after this one, yeah. Really? Yeah. Tune in for that, people. That soon? Yeah, bro. It's not that hard. I just gotta get a extension, not extension cord, but like a portable, portable outlet. Mm. So I remember Bash caught like two before, but eh, we'll see. Okay. But all right, I got one last question. So you have to survive twenty four hours being hunted down by one of these supervillains. Which one are you choosing? And you get one million dollars, <throat> Hawkeye, and thirty days to prep. All right. Okay. So you get a million dollars. So Hawkeye, y'all Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Hawkeye's not bad. All right. We'll see. I just got to see the soup. Yeah. So you got Shredder, Venom, <laughs> Megatron, or Deathstroke? Shredder, Venom, Megatron, or Deathstroke? Actually, we're going to do Venom, Megatron, Deathstroke. No Shredder. Okay. Venom, Megatron, Deathstroke. So Megatron is going. Yeah, that's OD. It's Hawkeye's good. getting killed. <laughs> yeah, he's done. Yeah. Um, Megatron or Deathstroke? Or Venom or Deathstroke? Or Ven- Venom or Deathstroke. I might pick Deathstroke, low-key. I might pick Deathstroke because, honestly, Hawkeye, like, he's not like Deathstroke. I feel like Deathstroke is more is better. Better, yeah. But, like, I feel like Hawkeye still has the capabilities and have a chance to beat Deathstroke. I'm not going to lie. With that million dollars, I'm bringing up an army. Yeah, I'm paying each everybody. I'm. I mean, ten k. I'm gonna get. I need at least twenty. You're, you're then that million dollars is going. I just I can pay ten k for a hitman. Ten k. That's like what ten. You, them hitmen's dead. Twenty two hundred k. I just need people to slow him down for twenty four hours. That, that nigga Deathstroke is like that. Like he's like. I that. know. Like you know, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have people dress up like me, and have them scattered around town and like just. Let, let them get murked. Think that's gonna trick them. Maybe. Wow. Let them get murked. <laughs> Maybe it might work. I don't know because Venom. I mean, uh, Venom, Venom is too much. Venom. Hawkeye. You think so? Because what if Hawkeye? Like, it's the oh, vibe. The, the yeah, frequency. the sound could cook them and fire. Ooh, maybe I might pick Venom. Venom might be easy. I get thirty days of prep time. I could booby trap my th- crib. I th- and I think, and I think, I think Hawkeye like. 
could like use something to like he he's a smart nigga. Yeah. Like he could yeah, I'm be like, yo, frequencies and shit like that. Yeah, yeah like give me like get up. some bows that like have yeah, like sound that, that to it. Sound to it. Yep. Ooh, that's actually smart. I might pick Venom, bro. I might pick Venom. Because Venom might be out of there. Cause you gotta think cause now Deathstroke is like Deathstroke is too much. It's like a like, hitman on like yeah, steroids. On on literally everything. And like, yeah, no, nah, I don't want to deal with that. That's too much work. <clears throat> but yeah, I might do that. I might do Venom. Like it's crazy because you you like literally have to outsmart a killer. Like, yeah, you have to outsmart uh, Deathstroke. Yeah, and I can't. And he's smart as fuck. And I'm like, I'm not, <laughs> comes and I'm not, I'm not doing Megatron because he can literally be any vehicle. Yeah, no, like he I'm can good. just fly in as like a, a helicopter and just shoot by and blow up my crib. That's deed, bro. I can't do none of that, bro. But no, I I, I pick Venom. Bro, good enough. Good uh detective work, Fritz. Yeah, you know what I do, bro. That's good detective work. You bro. know what I do. But you got anything else you wanted to say before the podcast ends, brother? Uh, you got any other things to talk about? Nah, but I just want to say, man, it's been a minute since I've been here. You know what I'm saying? We got new, yeah, a new video coming soon. Yeah, I don't, did you tell them? What? No, yeah, new adventures with idiots is in the works, bro. It's in the works. Yeah, so bro. you guys stay in tune with that. I know y'all niggas like the first one and shit like that. And maybe I'm in a new one. Who, Who knows? knows? Maybe he's know. not. Maybe, maybe not. we're just walking around Union. Maybe we're in a famous place. Who yeah, knows? Yeah, maybe, maybe. Who knows, bro? Stay tuned for that. It's but coming out soon, though. Coming out uh, soon. It's in the works. At the end of the day, bro, still enjoy y'all support. Yep. And, we, and we, this podcast has been going on for, like, what, four years now? Going on three. Three? I know. We, we're still young, bro. It's just still young. Three, I feel like we've been yeah. in here for years, bro. Yeah, three years, right? It's only been three years, bro. Yeah. So, 141 episodes <clears throat> counting. So, I appreciate y- y'all who's been supporting us since <coughs> since we started this, man. Yes, uh, sir. And hope you guys continue to support us in this journey that we're going through. Yes, sir. And, this is only know, the beginning, bro. It's only the beginning. We're still learning. We're learning more things. And, you know, we're just... Happy that y'all are still enjoying what we're putting out, you know. So good I words from Fritz, bro. You'll be a good dad with your with your speeches. I know, bro. I'm <laughs> I, I, I like the best dad, bro. Honestly, <laughs> I'm be like the best, bro. Yeah, but thank you. But shout out to everybody listening on the, to the podcast. We're just gonna shout out everybody on Patreon, cause so subscribe to our Patreon. We got new episodes, new exclusive episodes. We got early access to episodes every week. Yep. It's only three. We got three dollar tiers. That's the <clears throat> that's the undrafted. We got five dollar tiers, second round steals, and then we got the ten dollar tiers, bro. If y'all want exclusive episodes, y'all want early access, you want new content. Me and Fritz about to do a mukbang on there. Yeah, we about to do a mukbang. We about, about to it. have a mukbang series. We about to have reaction series. We about to have so much stuff on the Patreon this summer. It's not going to be funny. Mm-hmm. So if y'all want more of that, tune in. Link is all down below in the bio. Shout out to our sponsors. Seat Geek, thank you again Shout for sponsoring us. Appreciate y'all. Use code no regulars, all caps N O R E G U L A R S. You putting it down or is it down in yeah, the description? Yeah, it'll be down in the description below. It'll be right here I'll if y'all in. see it. You know what I'm saying? Gives you twenty dollars off your first order over fifty dollars. You know, support us, bro. That's all it is. But let me shout out everybody on Patreon, bro. So for our free subscribers, we got Leek, DJ Williams, Raymond Padilla, Padilla, Alyssa Smith, Laquell Ingram, which is a crazy name. If that's your name, you are. Uh, let me know where you're from. That's yeah, some hood where name. you from, gang? That's like, a, that Laquell from Ingram. The trenches. God. <laughs> Laquell Ingram, bro. LaQuell. Tyrone, Tyrone Bowens, Corey Petty. Just skip through that. <laughs> King Fry, Tamia, and then for the for our five dollar tier people, second round people, we got DJ Khalid. Lee, you told me how to say your name. It's I think I was saying Leland. I think it's Leland. Leland. If I didn't get it right. Let me know. DM me again. Leland Poole and Muhammad. Shout out to y'all. Thank y'all for subscribing to us every month. You know, we're putting up a new video. It's not coming out today or yesterday. It's coming out next week. So tune in for that. And yeah, you got anything else you want to say, Fritz, before you end the pod? Uh, we different no regulars. Regular gangster. Yep, like what you said, bro. We out of here, bro. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it.